A familiar sight at dawn around the villages of Bungwai and Tungbon in Warin Chamrap district, Uban Rachatani, is an orderly line of monks and novices receiving alms with composed postures. This may not appear distinct from any other Buddhist communities in Thailand, apart from the fact that the clergy in Bungwai are foreigners. With nearly 20 nationalities, English is used for all the teachings and communications at the monastery, which is called Wat Pa Nanachat, or the International Forest Monastery. Wat Pa Nanachat is one of the branch monasteries of Wat Nang Ba Pong, established more than 60 years ago by Venerable Ajahn Cha for, for determined forest-dwelling monks. The monks at Wat Nong Ba Pong are internationally known as forest monks who strictly adhere to the precepts and maintain a strict monastic lifestyle. Following the forest tradition of their meditation masters, they focus on the basics of forest living, simplicity and renunciation, which encourages them to live a simple life, eat less, sleep less, while practicing more meditation to sustain mindfulness and wisdom. There are more and more foreigners interested in ordination to explore the Buddha's teachings at Wat Nong Ba Pong, even though Ajahn Cha doesn't speak much English. Lungpa Cha seemed to have the wisdom and patience with, <laughs> to put up with a foreigner. It was no doubt, you know, was just trying to adapt to something totally different than, than what he was uh, ordinarily accustomed to. But during that time, I, people have asked about um, how could you learn from, when you had no common language. Lung Pa Cha was always saying, it's just a matter of training, you know, of learning. Because the Dhamma isn't about language, it isn't dependent upon language, it's about action and speech and right attitude and being mindful, being aware. To facilitate the Dhamma training for people of various nationalities, Ajahn Cha decided to establish a community for people from similar languages and cultural backgrounds. In 1975, Ajahn Sukme Tho, the senior most Western disciple of Ajahn Cha, was allowed to move all foreigners to settle in a monastic training center for internationals in the cemetery area of Bungwai village, eight kilometers away from what Nong Ba Pong. The lay community of Bungwai firmly revered Ajahn Cha for years. They went to Wat Nong Pa Pong every Buddhist holiday to practice precepts, listen to Ajahn Cha's teachings, and stay up all night for meditation. The area where Ajahn Sume To's group stayed at that time was a dense forest with thick lines of trees. The fact that the monks under Ajahn Cha strictly practiced Dhamma and were able to stay in touch with wilderness really impressed the villagers. The lay people of Bungwai requested Ajahn Cha to allow Ajahn Sume To and his group to prolong their stay. The lay community of Bungwai started building small thatched roof huts, which included a pond and toilets for the monks. Ajahn Cha appointed Ajahn Sume To as the monk leader, or the first abbot, responsible for the group of ten monks and novices, and a white-robed postulant, or Pakao. Initially, the monastery was named by Ajahn Cha as Wat Ba America Wat, or the American Forest Monastery, because the majority of disciples at that time were Americans. 
Later, he changed its name to Wat Pa Nanachad, or the International Monastery, as there were more and more people coming from other countries to learn Dhamma. Because, you know, you can study Buddhism, Baryatitam, and, which is very good, but it's, until you practice, till you Bhatibhata, then you don't really, you don't, you don't have the insight. You may have intellectual appreciation and faith, sata can happen through reading the scriptures and studying Pali. But Ajahn Chah was always emphasizing Bhatibhata, and uh, he, you know, when, before I was, could really understand Thai very well, I'd hear this word, Wat Papong Ben Wat Batiba, you know. So, so this is an emphasis on, on uh, the practice. Faithful Buddhists play an important role to provide the material supports for the monastic lifestyle. They also offer lands, build the temple wall, and restore the forests by replanting the abandoned farmland. The monks at Wat Ba Nanachat adhere to the strict disciplines just like all branch monasteries of Wat Nong Ba Pong. Rituals for talisman blessing, fortune telling, and fundraising are forbidden by Ajahn Cha. Nong Pa Cha was, his whole impression even in Thailand was not to advertise himself. You know, he'd say things, if, if you make good soup, then the word gets around all by itself. You don't have to advertise or tell other people. And that's what happened. You know, Wat Papong, the soup was delicious, and pretty soon word was getting around Uborn and Northeast Thailand, reaching Bangkok. And then it's the teaching, and his way of pointing directly and simplifying the teaching. So it makes it work. It, it's practical. It's not just theoretical bhati-bhata or, or some kind of theory based on some opinions on what the Buddha... At the beginning, there was negative speculation about Western monks. People believed that the foreigners were not genuine in joining the monk community and were determined to destroy the religion and Thai society. However, the perseverance of the monks under Ajahn Chah's faith withstood the test of time. Today, Wat Ba Nanachat is world-renowned for disciplines and practices that gain the respect of Thais and foreigners alike. Before being considered for ordination, the non-natives are required to be a white-robed postulant, or pakau, who robes himself in white and keeps the eight precepts for four to six months. Then he has to be ordained as a novice for another year. The procedure is deemed necessary to filter out the unworthy. Only those who pass the test of forest tradition will be allowed to join the sacred community. At Wat Ba Nanachat, English is the main instrument for Dhamma teachings. Also, the morning and evening chants are conducted in both Bali and English. This monastery has introduced the monastic lifestyle to foreigners and practiced leadership. Many monks from Wat Ba Nanachat have become the founders of monasteries overseas and built monk communities to teach and train people in search of the Buddha's path to enlightenment.
Moreover, Wat Bananachat has provided translation, as well as published books and textbooks of Dhamma in English and other languages for global distribution. The monastery also helps translate basic Bali Canon into English for non-Thai monks and novices. Teaching of the Buddha is about here and now. It's not about ancient India or Indian culture or Thai culture. It's about the cause of suffering, the end of suffering, the way of non-suffering. And, and that's universal. You know, that the Buddha established his teaching in India 2,560 years ago on, on a universal reality. It's not a theory. It's ultimate God or who created the earth or anything like that. It's about something so common to every human being, whether you're rich or poor, male or female, or European or Thai, the Four Noble Truths resonate in terms of the, of the human experience, the need for this Buddhist wisdom at this time, where there's so much division in, uh, just internationally, on uh, economic views and opinions, political views and opinions, racial views and opinions, all these, you know, the endless conflicts and wars and horrible things happening out of misunderstanding, not understanding Dhamma, having no universal sense, but maybe just nationalism and, and uh, very narrow views about right and wrong, or even on religion being one religion attacking another religion. When you investigate the Four Noble Truths, you see this for yourself. You see your own cultural biases, your own personal uh, views in, in terms of what they are in the present. You know, the sankaras, the, all sankaras are impermanent. So this resonates, like Lung Pachar emphasized this, sape sankarani cha all the time. And you begin to see, you know, that's what it is. It's Sankara is, you know, it's not just grasping the, the teaching from Lungpa Cha, but it's actually you're through Bhati Bhata, through mindfulness meditation, through Vipassana, you, you begin to know this for yourself. This serene monastery is not a place to appreciate Buddhist arts, nor a center of rituals, but a place to purify one's mind in search of the Buddha's path for enlightenment. Abiding by the teaching of Ajahn Chah, Wat Ba Nanachat has become the center of global Theravada Buddhism expansion, where people from all walks of life abandon worldly attachment and seclude themselves in the embrace of Dhamma and nature. Thank you.